Sometimes, instead of writing 1 over sine x, we just write cosec x. And instead of 1 over cos, we write sec. And instead of 1 over tan, we write cot. These are just shorthand. It, it just means we can write a little bit less messy um, fraction stuff. We can just write one function instead. Cosec is 1 over sine. So obviously it's not defined when sine is 0. And sine is 0 for multiples of pi. Sec is 1 over cos. And cos is 0, so sec is undefined, when x is an odd multiple of pi on 2. So pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, 5 pi on 2, and so on. At those points, cos is 0, so sec is undefined. Cot is 1 over tan. So obviously cot is not defined when tan is 0. But tan is sine over cos, so 1 over tan is cos over sine. And therefore cot is not defined when sine is 0. So that's the same as up here. It's every multiple of pi. How do you remember cosec sec and cot? I look at the third letter of each one. Cosec is 1 over sine. Sec is 1 over cos. And cot is 1 over tan. But what do these actually stand for? Well, sec is a second. Let me see if I can draw this for you. In a circle, a line that goes through the circle, that was meant to be a straight line, is called a second. This part of the second is called a chord. If the second just touches the, the circle at one point, we call it a tangent. That's where these words come from. So sec is second, this is cosecant, and this is cotangent. That's what those names are from. Now, as the textbook says, it is important not to confuse this with sine to the minus 1. So, unlike the normal algebra, where something to the power of negative 1 means 1 over it, with the trig functions, the negative 1 means the inverse function. It's because this is actually function notation. If you want to have the reciprocal, you would have to go sine x in brackets to the power of negative 1. Normally we don't write this. Instead of this, we write 1 over sine x, or, for preference, cosec x.